everybody, welcome to Prepper Junkie. Today we're going to go over the Hollow Sun HS503GU. Um, Hollow Sun is coming out with a lot of really great optics that, from what I've been reading online and uh, at a really reasonable price. So I thought I'd pick one up, check it out, and see what all the fuss is about. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this because uh, I just got it. Comes in a, a nice little case, and I don't know if this matters to any of you, a little Hollow Sun engraved on each side. Nothing too fancy. Uh, it comes with a lens cleaner manual. <clears throat> Inside we have a CR2032 battery, energizer battery, which is what it takes. We'll come back to that. Um, this is the actual optic. Comes with some cat protectors. Comes with an Allen key and a low mount. Right there. Okay. Oops. All right. So there was a particular reason why I did choose this one. Um, this one has my absolute favorite reticle uh, out of any red dot. It has the donut of death. Not the original donut of death, but donut of death. None the, none the other. If you don't know what I'm referring to, I'm referring to the EOTech 65 MOA uh, reticle. I absolutely love that reticle. It does have a 2, two MOA dot as well, if you wish to do it. Um, and you simply... Oh, well, there's the uh, there's a reticle there, and let's see if I can keep that in. And to change it, there's uh, the plus and minus buttons up here, which is rubberized. Let's go over. I'll, I'll show this in a second. Let's just go over the the optic here. Um, so it's rubberized <clears throat> uh, buttons here. It is waterproof. The windage and elevation is here, and they're really nice. Where these newer models are coming out, they're actually milling in these into the actual housing to protect these which is i think is a phenomenal idea so it's not going to catch you're not going to break them by hitting you know uh, before these these parts weren't here you know so you could snag or and these and so these have got kind of a you know help you not snag and if you it's just if you do whack it you're not going to break these um and the inside of here it does say um up turn right and obviously left down and it has a little knob at the top to put into the into there, I can, of course, every time I do something on camera, there we go, oh, no, oh, oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me, all right, all right, so, um, if, if I'm quiet here, probably going to be able to hear this really well, very tactile, the clicks are very crisp, they look really, really nice, uh, very, very, very nice, not mushy at all, let's turn that back on, all right, uh, this is the battery compartment for the CR2032. Just a simple CR2032. Uh, the battery life on the 2MOA dot is 50,000 hours, which is what a lot of the uh, red dots are getting nowadays uh, for battery life, which is awesome. Uh, the 65 MOA, you're looking at 20,000 hours. Uh, which is also really impressive. Now, the great thing about this version is it has the shake awake feature. So essentially, you can put this down after 10 minutes of not touching it, it's going to switch off. And as soon as it feels any vibration or anything like that, it's going to switch back on. And, um, and I'll, I'll do a little demonstration. Of this. Let's see, where's the box? Oh, did you see how quickly that came on? Just nudged that box. So um, it's a great feature. So I mean, you don't have to worry about switching the battery on and off if you don't want to. Um, and as soon as you pick up your rifle, if you know, in, your, if, in whatever situation you're in, the dot's going to be on. It's ready to roll, which is great, and it's not going to drain your battery. So, uh, so that's a really nice feature. You can switch it manually on and off, um, and switch on uh, at the top for 12 hours um, if you want to. You know, if you don't want to leave on the shake awake. So there is the 65 MOA, as I say, which is just awesome. And if I can keep this on screen, there we go. And then you hit hold the minus button for three seconds. There we go. And it goes to the two MOA dot. Really nice and crisp. Now, obviously, this isn't a holographic sight, obviously, not like EOTech. So this is LED, so it makes it super, super crisp uh, when you look through it, which is really, really nice. Very cool. Now, um, just like my MRO, if there is backlight, and you might... Well, that's my actual light. If there's any kind of light behind this and you're looking into sort of a darker area, you're going to get some red tint. Now, I don't know if I can show this on here. It might be a little hard, but anyway, it does show a little red tint on my MRO, and this is uh, on, on this uh, Hollow Sonnet, it's the same. It does have a little bit of red tint. Nothing 
nothing that's going to make you want to not want to buy it or anything like that. It's just a, it's just something um, of an observation for you guys that you might see that. Uh, let's have a look. What else did we touch on? Oh, on the front lens here, if I can get this on camera, guys. I sh I know I shouldn't have to say this for most of you, but again, with the M with the MRO, this also has the you know the lens is tilted for a specific reason. I don't know if I can show that on there. It's the same with the hollow sun. It's not broken. It's not out of spec or anything like that. And as I say, I know I shouldn't have to say that, guys, but there was I've seen comments on um, videos and on reviews where people are like, oh, it's out of spec. I can't believe they would send this with uh, the eyepiece like that. It's crazy. It's it's not broken. It's the way it's supposed to be. All right, going down to the mount. It's just a simple uh, to go on your uh, simple to go on your rail um, with the oh, it's like a torque screw or an Allen Allen key. Yep. Uh, and so just to clamp it down. Uh, the weight of this, there's the hollow sun on that side. The weight of this is 5.1 ounces. And to give you an idea, uh, now this is my Trigicon MRO and I have a Midwest Industries quick detach mount on there, but just to give you an idea, so that weighs 6.3 ounces. So it's not that much of a difference. Compare the size. The size is actually, the length is identical. Obviously the MRO has the larger uh, window at the end there. And I'm not, this isn't a side-by-side -side comparison, guys. I'm not saying, hey, this one's better than the other. This is just to give you an overall idea of the size of the hollow sun. It's really small, um, which is obviously a small and light, which is cool. All right, so it comes with that mount, and then you do have the lower mount, the low mount, if you want to put it on a shotgun or something like that. That'll work just fine. <clears throat> All right, so it does have 10 levels of brightness on this. Uh, again, let's see if I can get this here. All right, so it it's 10 levels of brightness and two night vision compatible. Now this gets like un, like crazy bright. You can see there, I mean, it's, you know, it's insane how bright this thing goes. Um, I don't think I'll need it ever that bright. <laughs> but it does have 10 levels, as I say. So I mean, daytime brightness is obviously, what, where'd it go? Daytime brightness is not going to be a problem with this at all. And I think we kind of covered most things. Um, I did buy, well, sorry guys, did buy a American Defense quick detach mount that I am going to probably switch over. I'm going to take this to the range um, here in just a little bit um, and put it on a AR and an AK, see how it handles, um, see how it's like to zero. Um, but then I'm going to switch over to a QD mount. I'm just, you know, I'm just a fan of QD mounts. So that, that's the American Defense QD mount. All right, so I think we've gone over the benefits, the features, um, cons. You know, so far, because I haven't really played with it too much, there's no cons so far. You know, and I was thinking about this the other day when I was, you know, I was like, you know, Hollow Sun's such an, it's it's not got the reputation of the aim points and for EOTech, and deservedly so, right? It's it's not been around as long as these companies, and, and aim point especially has absolutely been abused, and they've always worked, right? Uh, but you're going to pay for that. You're going to pay for that, you know, for a patrol rifle, for the MR, not for the, not for the MRO, for the uh, Endpoint Pro. You're talking, you can sometimes get them sale for 350 upwards. Amazing optic, um, super rugged. But, you know, you start going to optics like this with Endpoint and you're talking six, seven hundred bucks. Uh, EOTex, what has the holographic site, again, you're talking about $500. Now, this is in the $100 to $200 range. You're probably looking at $150, maybe a little more. Um, you can sometimes get them on the sale for a little cheaper. Um, does that mean they're a bad optic? No. You know, I think that the thing is, Holosun has just not been around. They don't have that reputation yet. Um, and I think from looking at some of their previous optics or early optics to what they're doing now, they are making making leaps and bounds and improvements to their optics. Uh, you know, hopefully their, their prices don't skyrocket as they continue. Hopefully they keep making a budget-friendly optic. Uh, again, you know, if this holds up really well, um, I'll be, you know, I'd be that would be great and for the price I paid. Uh, I think it was 130 bucks on sale for this, um, and uh, so yeah, I mean, it's worth a shot. We'll see how it does. Again, I think, I think people are put off sometimes a little bit because, you know, it says Hollis on it. It is made in China, and I think it puts a lot of people off, but. You know, I'm willing to give it a shot and see how it goes and um, and, and see what the durability is like. So, yeah. All right, I've talked too much. This video is getting long. Um, if you guys have any questions, any comments, as always, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help if I can. 
Uh, I'll put links in the description to the product, uh, to the to this one in particular, um, if you guys are interested in it. Uh, and, and with the, uh, the QD mount as well, I'll put a link down there. All right, guys, I really appreciate everyone following along. Have a great day.